welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Julie and I do handbag reviews and I like to talk about handbags here on this channel. And if you're not new and you're returning, welcome back. It's so great to see you again. Today is gonna be a fun video. I just thought randomly it would be fun to show off my compact handbags that I really like. Moreover, I am more of like a medium to large bag handbag lover, um, just because I like to carry quite a bit. But if I'm traveling, if I'm just gonna pack light for the day, if it's a weekend, these are the, gonna be the bags that I really do like to reach for. I have a few to show. And then also, I do wanna start off this video. This video is in collaboration with Miss Blue Jewelry, and I do want to showcase a few of the items that they did send to me um, and talk to you a little bit about the company Miss Blue. So here we go. Miss Blue is a company that is a jewelry maker and they focus on earth conservation. They specialize in um, like clean production of the jewelry that they do make and every single purchase that is made through Miss Blue Jewelry, they plant 10 trees. So I found that that is really, really sweet. Um, they have sent me a couple necklaces and it came very packaged very, very well in this box. It was sent to me about a month ago. I'm just getting around to making this video, so I apologize. But the two items they sent to me were packaged so nicely in these two jewelry boxes. It came with instructional cards, dust cleaning, um, cleaning cloths. And one of the items that I am loving is this necklace. I'm gonna do some close-ups. It is a pink sapphire pear necklace inlaid with um it's like a gold um necklace with the pink it's absolutely gorgeous i am the type of person i don't love to like take off jewelry much i like to shower with it on so it is um perfect for that and this one is actually sizable to three different links and it's going to be linked down below and then the other item that i did get the item that i did receive is this absolutely beautiful opal moonstone necklace and it is in an oval shape and it's with um silver the chain is absolutely comfortable i have worn this one time and love it it is just so simple it's going to go with everything and yeah i just am very very impressed with the quality of their jewelry they do have fine jewelry um a lot of the stones that are used are moissanite diamonds so definitely produced with less water so that's also helping conserve water and um, miss blue basically the word you know the blue in their name signifies the purity of the company and their standards so i just really am thankful for them sending me these gifts and i just wanted to give them a shout out I'm going to put all the information down below on how to order their pieces from their site. And then I do have a coupon code for 15% off. It's J15. I'll link that down below. You can use that at checkout and get 15% off your purchase. Okay, so back to handbags. <laughs> I want to show, show you guys a few of these bags that I've just been really, really loving. Most of them are Coach. You know what, guys? Coach makes so many compact bags. And... It's just, it seems like that's what they are kind of known for in a way is not the big bags that they have anymore. They're all compact. So I'm going to go ahead and show you some of my faves. Like it's not, I compact to me is not being able to like freely move my hand about a handbag, if you know what I mean. Um, so to me, the bandit shoulder bag they have a crossbody one that is tiny. That can hold like three things. This can hold a little bit more, and I have four of these, granted, but it's a compact bag to me. Um, so what might be compact to me might not be compact to you, but it is just, you know, pretty tight in there. Um, however, it expands out. So, you know, I feel like you can get just the essentials into the bandit. Um, and so I absolutely love the materials of the bandits. I think, I'm not sure if Coach is gonna be continuing this bag much anymore. Um, they still have them in store. In fact, they came out with some that have like a same color matching to the leather, which are pretty cool. So um, I do have this one decked out in the C chain. 
It's really, really stunning. This is in the color chalk and it has the Cotain tag that is the 1941 style. Um, they don't really call them 1941 hang tags anymore. So, but yeah, this one is a good bag to me for like a dressy summer evening out because it's chalk. Um, to be quite honest, I hardly wear this bag. However, it's one of my faves. I probably reach for the red and the blue one a lot more, especially on a traveling occasion. They're so great. I love the versatility of the strap that they come with. So, um, but no, this is definitely up there as far as a compact bag for me. And when I go compact, that's what this bag means. Um, so as far as other people, they may not feel like this is a compact bag, but for me, this bag is compact. <laughs> it's the good old OG tabby, pillow tabby 26. When I was at coach the other day, my essay was like, oh my God, you're rocking the OG. And I'm like, you know, didn't, didn't this just come out three years ago? Guys, if a bag's three years old, does that mean it's OG? I guess. Um, I don't know. I think like, 90s bags are more like OG, <laughs> not just like three years ago. Um, but I just feel like this is a bag too. Again, I'm downsizing to get into. It's stunning though. On the body, it doesn't look compact though. I mean, it, you know, this bag is a big bag. However, it's compact inside. So if you're unfamiliar with the pill pillow tabby, most coach collectors and much hand most handbag people do you know what this bag's all about? Um, but yeah, I feel like this bag's super compact because it's just these two sections that you have to kind of work with. And then you get that middle zipper, which I will have to put like my lip gloss and my use this kind of as the catch-all portion, omit the catch-all, and then just kind of use some of my pouches and sunglasses and glasses in these other sections. It's probably a little bit larger than a compact bag for me, but I'm including it because it's definitely not like one of my long shop medium bags or one of my Dooney bags. But anywho, I picked this one up recently off of um, Poshmark, you guys. And these are tougher to get. Like they're harder to find and um, on the resale market because I think people are keeping them. Um, this is one when the seller sold it to me she did not notice that there were a couple little dots of pin right here so i reached back out to her and she did give me a little bit of a credit back it's not coming out i can't figure out how to get those little pin marks out however when the bag is closed you don't even see it the rest of the bag is absolutely beautiful and flawless but um but for sure though this is like a compact bag because I just can't move my hand freely about it. I have to strategically place things in. That to me is compact, so that's why I'm including it. And she's a gorgeous baby, love her. So squishy, I just love these. I've had so many pillow tabbies in the past. This is my fourth one, you guys. Two blacks and an Amazon green one. I think I'm good with the taffy pink one because the combination of the color with the puffy styling of this bag is just adorable. I love it, love it. Now this one's probably like the most compact of the compact bags for me, cause this is just a tiny little, almost wristlet type of a situation. I can get like three or four things inside of it. This was a bag that my son, um, he, <laughs> it has a coach dust bag in it, but my son picked this out for me at Target and sometimes we play with it together it's honestly not a bad bag though and it's just a tiny little compact bag the smallest of the small holds just a few things perfect for the pool i'm gonna take it with me to like the lake the pool um he can play with it it actually can fit your cell phone here in this back slot if you have just a regular iphone and it doesn't have a crossbody strap but we can for sure figure out one to throw on it um, but no, super cute, faux leather, but it feels really nice, almost feels like leather. And again, got it at Target for like $7. So um, just wanted to throw this little one in there. 
Um, I consider this bag compact. It's the Cassie 19. It is just an OG Cassie 19. Great, perfect. I love this for traveling. I love it because it's definitely kind of like a knock around, knock around bag for me. Hardly do I ever wear with the gold chain. I just don't. I use the gold chain this bag comes with on other bags. Um, this is definitely one I love to just use the crossbody strap with. And I sometimes will throw another strap on it, but you know, this bag is made with the most durable leather that when I take it on an airplane or whenever I wanna like, you know, take it walking around whenever I get to my destination, it's great because it's got this easy access back pocket for my phone. And then it has all the compartments. For sure though, it is, it's gonna be on the compact side, that's why it's included. And, but everything can open up pretty wide here. So whenever I need to access my things, I can open it up pretty wide. And it does, you know, accordion out. So it's gonna give the original Cassie, I've had several of those in the past, definitely more spacious and definitely more along the sides of a small medium bag in the regular sized Cassie. This is to me small, like small to compact, including it. I just, um, yeah, I don't know how much smaller I can go in a bag than like a Cassie 19 or the next bag that I'm going to show you. All right. So for the final bag here, now, this is a bag that I am just dead over, completely dead over. It is compact when it lays on your body. However, inside it can hold a lot. Like the Simi 21, that's what this bag is called. The Simi 21 is a clown car. I featured it in like one of my more recent videos as well. Because it's just one big open space, it really can hold everything you need. These little tabs in the back, they can unhook and the bag widens out even more for you. So, you know, don't turn your back on this bag, you guys. They're still selling it at Coach. Um, I feel like it's a very classic, chic shape. And, um, you know, not everybody is really, really hip on this closure here. However, like LV uses this on a lot of their bags and I don't know I think it's I think it's really nice um, the bag can scratch quite easily it's that natural full grain leather it can scratch um, similar to like the broom bag and the bandit leather so you know this is possibly not one that I would love to just take like on a hike with me of course not but if you have to take it on a long walk or perfect for date night don't put the crossbody strap on it and just carry it like this. It's so cute, so dainty, a beautiful, again, compact. However, it can hold everything that I need. Um, I just have to downsize a little bit, but super pretty. Um, yeah, this one is the final compact bag. My, um, my ideal size bags are totally medium bags. Like, um, and I would have to put into that category the Marc Jacobs small, the tote bags, the um, like my Dooney and Burke Florentine size mini, um, the Ruby 25 would be another just medium bag, like the Lana 23, um, you know, bags that are going to definitely make you feel like you don't have to change out of your sunglasses case, where you can carry kind of a larger catch-all in it. Um, and just kind of carry everything that you definitely need moving your hand freely about, freely about. So with these bags, I am having to downsize and just kind of just go more compact in life. That's, that's fine. It's not my ideal. However, again, perfect for traveling, um, and just like weekends where I want to like get away with the kids and stuff like that. So, um, I think that's it for right now. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'm just trying to think of other videos to do. I'm sorry, I'm not feeling the greatest today. So if this video is kind of all over the place, I do apologize. Um, 
yeah, so just kind of thinking about others. Um, my girlfriend, Erin, she came out with an awesome video today about the bags that her husband hates. I'm gonna link her video down below. It's awesome. I'm kind of thinking about doing a, a um, video similar to it, just involving Josh and seeing what bags he may hate. I have to do it by like Google FaceTime though, cause he doesn't live here. So, um, but yeah, I think I may do that video next. It's gonna be kind of fun. Um, thanks guys. Um, check out Miss Blue Jewelry. Again, putting everything down below that I can regarding the company. And my code again, J15. If you want to order anything, Mother's Day is coming around the corner. It's coming up in March. So, all right. Thank you guys for joining and take care. Bye-bye.